The playoffs are here and Football Friday is ready for a Saturday night edition. Only two local teams in the playoff field, but it should be an exciting postseason as always. Let's get to the round one highlights. On Friday night, Bennett Academy traveled to Glenbard North. The Panthers with an impressive bounce back year going 6-3 after an 0-9 season in 2018. The Red Wings started the year 6-0, but three straight losses to end the season put B.A. on the road to start the playoffs. All Panthers to start this one, led by running back Jordan McPorter, who ran for 112 yards and three touchdowns in the first half alone. Lombard North shocks the Red Wings with a 35-0 lead at halftime. Bennett was able to stop the bleeding defensively in the second half with a shutout, and Michael O'Connor connects with freshman wide receiver Pierce Walsh for an 81-yard touchdown. But it would be too little too late as Glenbard North ends Bennett's season after a 35-8 victory. The Red Wings finish 2019 6-4 while Glenbard North moves on to play the number one seed Mount Carmel. Moving to the Saturday afternoon game, Neuqua Valley hosting a round one playoff game for the first time since 2016. The DVC champion Wildcats are 8-1 and, and ready to start the postseason against Conant from the Mid-Suburban West Conference. The Cougars have lost three straight heading into round one. It does not take long for the Wildcat offense to make its presence felt. Mark Gronowski with a quick out to Patrick Hoffman. The senior shakes a tackler and breaks loose for a 65-yard touchdown. 7-0 Cats. After the Nequa defense forces a safety, Gronowski shows once again what a dual threat the senior signal caller can be. A 61-yard draw up the middle puts his team up 16-0 after the first quarter. The Wildcats cruising in this one, running back Nick Pastore with a huge game in relief of Armani Moreno. He takes a 60-yard scamper down the sidelines. He would punch it in from 8 yards out later in the drive. Whenever you get a running clock in a playoff game, you're doing something right. Equal Valley gets its first postseason win since 2015 by the score of 44 to 6. After the big victory, Nequa Valley takes a huge step up in competition during round two. The Wildcats will travel to face the six-seeded Vikings of Homewood Flossmore next Saturday. The Vikings defeated Curie in round one, 53 to six. Since Nequa Valley is our only remaining team in the playoffs, that means the 2019 edition of Football Friday has come to an end. You can find the highlight of next week's game and all the 2019 football highlights on nctv17.com. I'd like to thank everyone who made these highlights possible every week, including Ali Coletta, Patrick Cotto, Adam Cornwell, Kevin Jackman, Anthony Yench, Ryan Risky, Christian Canizal, Logan McKee, Liz Spencer, and Joe Vizo. And most of all, thank all of you for watching all season long. Hope to see you again in 2020 for Football Friday. I'm Justin Cornwell.